a really good day because guess what? I'm meeting a new friend. Her name's Bertha. Anyone with the name Bertha must be pretty cool. Well, the reason why I'm meeting Bertha is because both of our moms are going to the bar today. And while they're at the bar, me and Bertha are going to play outside of the bar. Playing outside the bar is really fun. But last time I hung outside the bar, all these gangster kids came up to me and tried to threaten to beat me up. But I was like, step away, gangster. Fred's in the house. And they were like, oh my god, I'm so scared. They know that they cannot mess with Fred because I will mess them up. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I have to go because Bertha just pulled into my driveway. Wish me luck. Talk to you later. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Bertha kissed me. JK. I'm just joshing. But Bertha was really nice to me. I mean, Bertha's like a really popular second grader, so that was really, really good for my reputation that she was hanging out with me. When Judy finds out about this, she's going to be so jealous. Anyways, me and Bertha had a ton of fun. When I first got there, Bertha told me to throw a beer bottle at a car. So I did it, and then the people came out of the bar and told me that I was a bad kid. But Bertha said that she was really impressed. Bertha made me do a lot of bad things. She told me to push an old guy in a wheelchair into a wall. But that was really mean, so I just said, no, I will not push an old person into a wall. So anyways, it was really fun, and Bertha told me this really scary story. She told me that there's a house in our town. The house is haunted. Every year on this exact day, the ghosts come out of the house. And they haunt six-year-olds. When she was telling me the story, I was all acting like I was tough and I wasn't scared. But I'm really scared. What if the ghost comes to my house because I'm six? Whatever, it won't happen. Those stories are so fake. Okay, pretend this is Bertha and this is me. Oh my god, they're kissing. They're kissing. At the end of the whole entire thing, I told Bertha I wanted to kiss her hand. And she told me that that was not a good idea because she hadn't washed her hands for about three days. That's kind of sick. My hands are so clean. One time I went to a fortune teller and they told me that if you have this line on your hand, it means that you're going to get married to a very gorgeous lady. When my mom got her palm reading, the lady said that she would live to be very old and miserable. My mom was very mad at the lady for saying that. I mean, she could have at least just made up a good fortune to make my mom feel good. <gasps> what was that sound? I think it's a ghost. I'm going to hurt you. <sighs> I'm scared now. What's going on? This is scary. <laughs> I'm gonna call 911. 911. Oh my gosh, there's a ghost in my house. No, I haven't taken any drugs. What are you talking about? They didn't even believe me. They just suspected that I was a drug addict. That was wrong of them to accuse me of something so harsh. When my mom gets home, I'm gonna tell her to sue them. My mom said that whenever someone does something bad to you, you can just sue them and then you get money. My mom's done it a few times already. I'm still here. <gasps> oh my god, I forgot about the ghost. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't want to get hurt by a ghost. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Fred. This has been Bertha the whole time. You're such a wimp. What the heck, Bertha? Why are you inside my house? Because I wanted to scare you. I could so tell that you were scared when I was telling you the story. Oh my god, Bertha. You're so mean. Loser. Well, I'm gonna go, Fred. Bye. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna go because that was really embarrassing. Talk to you later. Bye. Bertha seemed nice, but in the end she was mean.